pieces to DIY for and this week I'm going to show you how I took a piece of trash and transformed it into a modern sleek signature piece for say your office or a space in your home and when I say trash I mean trash I picked up this chair on the side of the road and all it really takes is some fabric some paint and a little bit of hard work so let me show you how I did it so like I said, I used some faux fur fabric, spray paint in whatever color you want. You'll need tape, also a staple gun, X-Acto knife, and some sandpaper. So this is the lovely ugly chair that I picked up on the side of the road. It was in pretty rough shape, so I first started with the sandpaper, some pretty heavy grit to sand down the metal bars. So there's a lot of rust on it and a lot of bumps on the metal. This just creates a clean surface so the paint can stick really well to it. Uh, once I smoothed it all down I then just wiped it down with a damp cloth to clean off that rust and dirt to have a clean surface so I really liked the wood backing of this so I'm just taping that off so I don't get any of the spray paint on the wood so I can now give my metal a new look I went with a copper tone so this is just a metallic copper spray paint and I'm spray painting all of the metal on the chair with this the best idea when you're spray painting is to do long quick strokes to prevent you from having any pooling and just give yourself a nice even coverage. So it does take a little while but be patient with it. I was really happy with how this spray paint turned out and what it looked like when I was all done. So I'm just removing the tape here once it was all dried and the final touch is to cover it with whatever fabric you want. Fur is really in right now. I had this piece of fur kicking around already, so I am just stapling it to the bottom of my chair. Luckily, it was a wooden chair on the bottom. Most chairs typically are, so you can use a staple gun to put that fabric into place. It's really great if you have somebody to help you with this. You can pull it nice and tight. I worked from the back and then did back and forth between the sides so that I wasn't pulling too tight on one side. Uh, when I got to the end, I find that cutting faux fur the best thing to use is an X-Acto knife. It's just going to be messy no matter way, which way you do it, but I find it the least messy with an X-Acto knife. So then I just stapled the rest into place and that's all you got to do. doesn't take very long and it is dirt cheap. It cost me less than $10 for the materials for this and the chair was free. So always keep an eye out for the things that people are throwing away at the end of the road. You never know what you might be able to find and how you can transform it. If you transform or you know have an old piece of thrifted furniture that you make new, I would love to see what you do with it or if you try out this DIY for yourself, send me some photos. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Janelle steeper and then use the hashtag 2DIY4 if you tag me in this. And as always, give me a like if you enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe. Next Wednesday I will be back with a new DIY. Cheers! What? No. That... Oh my foot. So...